Hey everybody, this is Theresa here. This is like the fourth time I'm trying this video because this little thing right here, this is Ruby, you all have met Ruby before, has a lot of energy and she's been distracting me through my videos and so I can't, I'm going to try this again and we're going to be calm this time. So this is my um, week 29 update since surgery, week 29 of my journey. Um, week 29 of my many weeks for the rest of my life journey that um, I began back in July and I'm down as of since since my journey that started in July since my surgery I am down 40 pounds 40.3 pounds to be exact it was 42.2 pounds but I have gained overnight I stayed and maintained all week um, because I haven't exercised as much. I've been pretty lazy this week. I've kind of taken a break from a lot of things, from work and, and some things. And so, um, I, uh, but le yesterday I ate, I know what it is, is I ate a bunch of sodium. It's those shrimp chips. I grew up, it, you know, and they're in Walmart now, and that's what's the problem. It's these Asian uh, shrimp chips that are popular in the Asian stores and I've grown up eating them you know well now they're in Walmart and I was going to do some grocery shopping yesterday at Walmart and I saw them and I grabbed them and they're full of sodium but they were so good and I ate the whole bag so that is the in in two days but still I ate most of them yesterday um so sodium I gained a 1.9 pounds so two pounds of sodium overnight so it'll go and um, I'm not worried about it so next week number will be much better um, other than that, that's what's kind of going on this week. I just kind of been maintaining. I haven't exercised much. Reason is, um, since Saturday, uh, Monica and I did our run, our long run on Saturday, and um, that we reported about. And that's the first time that we hit five miles. The week before, we hit four miles, and those are our records. So, I mean, we're gaining, you know, we're putting mileage on and gaining um, endurance and everything. But these last two weeks at mile four is when I started feeling this pain in my left knee. And it's not a shin splint, it's to the side of my knee, but it is it is a tendon. Um and it swelled up really big, um, pretty good size knot on the left side of my knee, below the knee joint, but it was on the side of the knee. And um so I know that it's caused by, because I also talked to, I went to our running store, um, who they're all very experienced runners there, um, marathon runners and stuff that work there. And so I knew, I trusted their opinion and I, because I went there today and, um, and it's, it's due to, uh, they think that it's also, I'm not used to running and this is just my body, you know, getting used to it and just, uh, fighting resistance, I guess, you know. <laughs> or resisting what I'm doing to it. So um, I got this. This is um, a compression band that, because the pain that I have is like right on the side over here, right below the knee. And so I'm gonna put this on at when I'm run next and I hopefully think tomorrow we're gonna try again and um, see how that works at uh, holding compression down on that spot, because it's one spot that and it swelled up right after that so I iced it down and everything but I yeah I, I don't want to stop running I, I gotta fight through this I gotta <laughs> I mean I'm new at all this so Brooke if you're listening um, you're watching and you have any uh, advice on this I'm welcome or anybody that you know knows anything about this I'm welcome to your advice but um, I just want to keep on because uh, we've worked so hard to get to this point and We've got our marathon that we're running in April, and you know, and we're in week I think five or six of our uh, running uh, training. And this Saturday, actually Saturday morning, we have a five-mile frigid five race that we're both doing, and it's the first race in our Triple Crown um, races that we're we're signed up in. So I gotta run five miles on Saturday, so I'm gonna wear that thing for sure. And uh, pray that it, you know, that it it uh, it works and helps. And I also need to um, 
concentrate on my um, my stride and concentrate on my posture and stuff because I know all of it's all linked together. Um, so I've been watching a lot of videos. I've been also studying up and starting um, exercises to strengthen my leg muscles and stuff that'll help and stretches and stuff. So I'm trying to do the right things. But my, if you have any advice, um, please let me know of it. Um, so oh, not only do we have the five mile uh, race on Saturday morning, we also have our regular running uh, club training on Sunday morning and it's seven miles. So we're going to walk. We've decided that it's too much running for one weekend and we're going to walk and run that. So we'll, we're going to take it easy. But um, that's what's going on this week. I just ask for prayers that, you know, my knee, I just, I, I'm a, I, be, I, I totally believe in prayers and the power of prayer. So throw in a prayer for me that uh, this knee heals because I don't want to disappoint myself or Monica in our um, efforts that we are, that we are doing towards this marathon and towards our running lifestyle because I love it. I love running. And I love um, what it's been doing for my health. I do have to say that my, because um, it's helped my resting heart rate. Um, back a year ago, I was 50 pounds heavier than I am now. I was at 227. I remember last February of last year, of 2012. And so I'm at 177 now. So I'm 50 pounds less and very unfit back then and um i remember checking my resting heart rate because i had a health mentor that was you know i had to uh, log down because i never did that check my heart rate but i knew that i was that my heart rate sucked and i was always sweating you know profusely like just sitting there and i'd be just sweating and my blood pressure medicines weren't doing it all the medicines wasn't working for me you know because I wasn't working for me. It was just popping pills and thinking that would help. And it doesn't. So my resting heart rate was um, like between one, between 97 and 104, 105 normal. That's way too high for just resting heart rate. So um, because I think the normal is like between 60 and 80. So Dr. Oz said this morning, I think, <laughs> or yesterday. But um I did yesterday, yeah, I was watching Dr. Oz and he was saying 60 and 80. Well, I checked my resting heart rate uh, yesterday and it was 62. Yeah, 62. And it used to be 90, it used to be 100, say 100. And it was 62. And I had been checking it here and there, you know, and it's going down, I'll be at work and I'll check it, you know, it's in the 80s or 70s, so it's, but it was 62, so... I really attribute that to losing this 50 pounds, to being fit, to eating healthier. And a lot of it is to the running and building that endurance that I have uh, built up in running. So my heart has gotten its exercise and it's healthier, so much healthier. And heart problems in my family, um, both sides are very, um, very, we got heart problems. My dad's got a pacemaker, defibrillator pacemaker. And he's only 65, you know, and he has had that for about 10 years now. So, um, yeah, that's where I was going towards. So uh, this running, I don't want to stop. I want to keep running. Even if I'm just running, you know, just a few miles every day. I don't, it's just regular runs. Um, we're working on this race and stuff, but if I need to tone it down and just do a race, just do 5K is fine. But I, I don't want to stop, and I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to let this stop me. So... Anyway, I rambled long enough. Um, you know, if you got any any um, advice for me or questions, please um, let me know of them. Holler at me. Um, you know, and I'll. I don't know if I have any advice, but I'll try to give it too. So, um, but, so before I kill a little precious, precious here, because yeah, she's pushing. It. <laughs> I'll let y'all go. Have a blessed week. Have a wonderful um, weekend because it's coming up, thank goodness, soon. And I will let you know how our run does on Saturday. Monica and I will post our video. And I don't, we don't get medals for that. We'll get a t-shirt, I think a tech shirt for that race, but we don't get medals. But um, we'll post our video and um, yeah, please pray that my leg does fine. And uh, that both of us make it. So love you guys and God bless. Bye.